23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The county is following the order from Governor Gavin Newsom asking businesses to require patrons to wear a mask in order to receive service. County Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop is telling local businesses to crack down on mask requirements tonight, saying no mask, no service. Several of the businesses 23 ABC spoke with today say they will not refuse service, but instead will provide a mask if someone doesn't have one. If you're a local business who cannot afford face coverings for customers, make sure you head to kerncounty.com to apply for the county's PPP, PPE program. Now, earlier this year, millions of Americans received a stimulus check of at least $1,200 to help in the face of the pandemic. This morning, a government watchdog is saying many of those checks ended up being sent to people who shouldn't have received them. Specifically, the report says 1.1 million dead Americans received those checks. That totals $1.4 billion. The IRS says it agrees with the report, saying it should consider cost-effective options for notifying ineligible recipients on how to return payments. County officials have opened up the cooling center at the Walker Senior Center on Sunset Avenue in Shafter. Cooling centers open in the San Joaquin and Kern River Valleys when temperatures are 105 or higher, when they are 108 or higher in the desert, or when they are 95 or higher in Fraser Park. The centers are open from 1 until 8 p.m., and officials say you are encouraged to wear a face covering. You will be screened for temperature and symptoms upon entry, and you must practice physical distancing at all times. Today, another dry, warm day here in Kern County, but we are tracking actually a couple of thunderstorms just to our north, kind of right along the Sierra Crest there. We've seen a good amount of development through the afternoon hours. Those are going to stay to our north, though. We don't have too much to worry about from those in general, though. Just tracking another warm day for tomorrow. 102 in Bakersfield, 102 in McFarland. A little tiny bit cooler toward Lake Isabella compared to today, 96. There is a small chance that our mountain communities could see one or two little showers for tomorrow. 104, the high temperature at China Lake. And something we're tracking in the short term here is a little bit breezier conditions as we head towards about five to six o'clock and really through the evening hours you can see our winds are set to pick up here this evening seven day forecast does show a more hot weather for the next couple of days 102 for friday 104 on saturday that'll be the hottest day of the forecast then we start to cool off by sunday and really see our temperatures drop quite a bit by the time we get to monday almost 20 degrees between saturday and monday there and then heating up again toward next week but no triple digits once we get into next week as of yet same story for our mountain communities again one or two little showers or thunderstorms possible in the mountains for tomorrow and then cooling down as we head into next week. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.